Africa is today described as the youngest continent. And those who comment on that particular reality do so on the basis that as compared to other parts of the world, to mean America, Asia, and Europe, we have a young population. And that is why we talk about the youth dividend. And it is assumed that that youth dividend is likely holding all factors constant to help Africa to participate a lot more vigorously and therefore a lot more beneficially in the struggle to realize social, economic, and political development. But the question is, is that necessarily the case? About 20 years ago, when we said goodbye to the 20th century, it was said that this would be Africa's century. But the evidence thus far does not say so. If you look at what is happening in the continent, and I say that specifically, because the year 2020 is the year that was designated by the African Union as the year for silencing the guns for economic development. It was done on the basis and on the realization that unless we have peace, then we cannot talk about development of any kind because war takes away social cohesion and stability and undermines economic development because it distracts from the core issues that undergird economic development. I want, before I make my point, to just give you a walk about Africa in order for you to appreciate the current situation in the continent of Africa as regards peace. I want to start down in Mozambique. You know that there is an insurgency in Mozambique, therefore there is no peace in Mozambique, which means that young people and economic resources are being utilized by the government of Mozambique to resist the Islamists, so-called, who are involved in the insurgency. If you go to Somalia, there is very fragile peace. I know they are going into an election. If you go to Ethiopia with the second largest population in Africa, as we speak now on a daily basis, they are generating about 2000 refugees crossing over to Sudan from the Tigray region which means that for the moment, the federal government in Ethiopia is diverting all our resources to prosecute that conflict. South Sudan is also going through fragile peace. The southern part of the Sudan in the Nuba Mountain, mountains and Abia and Darfur, there is also conflict. In Central Africa, in Burkina Faso, which is going through an electoral process, there was no voting in Northern Burkina Faso because he's infested with subversive activities. In Northern Mali, in Mauritania, in Saharawi, in Southern Cameroons, in Eastern Congo, in the CAR, in the Casamans, partly in Burundi on a low scale, and in quite a number of countries because of political activity in Uganda now, in Guinea, in Guinea Conakry, in La Côte d'Ivoire. That gives you a pretty clear example of Africa as I speak, as I speak. And I've heard all that has been said, the problem of Africa and the question of the involvement of young Africans has been analyzed. I'll not analyze it. It has been analyzed. 
governments have pretended, and I use the word pretend very deliberately, to create schemes that are designed to involve the youth in economic activities. In Kenya, we have the youth fund and all those other funds. But the impact is minimal and the design is improper. And therefore, if you follow those paths, you will never realize any kind of change. Remember also that youth is not a permanent state. It is not like being a woman or a man. Youth is a transient state. You are youth today, and according to the UN and acceptable standard upon attaining the age of 35, you will transition in what is recognized as adulthood. And therefore, when we talk about the youth, we ought to warn ourselves about quite a number of factors. And we ought to warn ourselves about the intentions of many African governments in inviting the youth to their schemes. I'm under no illusion myself that any country that wants to realize economic growth, political stability and social cohesion must invest in her young population because what happens with the young population is what forms a firm foundation stone upon which the nation is built. Malimu Julius Nyerere, whom I regard to be the greatest Afri post-independent African politician. Prof, uh, I think your network was a bit, uh, yeah, welcome I back, Prof. I was making the point that you cannot deny the fact that the youth are a critical component in the development of any nation. And I've had the advantage of listening to the other speakers, urging the youth to identify their niches, urging the youth to roll up their sleeves, urging the youth to immunize themselves against being mobilized from an ethnic standpoint, urging the youth to ensure that they are not easily enticed by political demagogues. I understand all that, but it's incumbent upon young Kenyans and young Africans to begin to think very differently. I'm one who is very worried, for example, because many youth organizations end up being funded by Western organizations, which I object to. I refuse to believe that you can meaningfully engage in things that are going circumstances if you are funded by Conrad Adenauer Foundation or Henrich Ball Foundation, those other Western foundations, those foundations have their own agenda. Which agenda is necessarily in Africa? They are now and women in the continent of the organization that should begin to underwrite the activity of young Africans. And I that young Africans can now generate sufficient funds so that they do not become young people whose only claim is writing proposals to Denmark or Netherlands or these organizations get funds, then you write a report, you spend two shillings. You lose your independence. Supported, we must have based institutions which give. And it must also be if you support, must not think they own you. If anybody thinks they own you because they have supported you, reach outright. You must have dignity, even in public. Think that that is what we ought to do. And I have no doubt in if you do that, then we will participate in the economy of Africa in a delivery. whom I referred to a little earlier once said, don't compete with the United States of America. Let's go to the moon, but let us find, apply it water to the next, to what we are concerned with. During this era of COVID, which has taught us
truth, our lives can be very basic. Our lives can be so that what you need is to feed yourself in dignity, that what you need is to work in dignity. So you young men who are the people upon whose shoulders Africa is going to be built, I'm pressed that one of the things is to identify your niche. Mr. Shell, Mr. Shell, you spoke from the standard news wants you to identify and to distinguish yourself. Self, what contribute to make recently? I had a friend of mine and making reference to Jesus of Nazareth, who once said that we the earth, I see my friend who is faith, Isa bin Mariam that if you are the the salt is not good salt shaker it must get shaker and mix with those or meat this flavor to come out so no matter how good you are you must get out there and go into the community whether it's in Korogosho whether it's in Mukurukwa and Jenga or Murukurukwa or Kibra or any other place or in the, the continent of Africa and do this because how to why what we call development what is it what is this thing we call development patients will come and tell you that development there's nothing wrong with a big building that a road is a development and there is nothing wrong with a road. Airport is nothing wrong with it. Development is personal development. In Kiswahili we say because once you've come there is no limit and the greatest thing that a man or a woman can do is to have a mind that is in a mind which is education and humility knows that you are nothing unless you are part of a society. A mind that knows that it is only through collaboration that you can achieve great things. A mind not afflicted by inferior, a mind that knows that those who seek never fail to find, a mind Know that if you want anything under the bed, you must bend. Hence the Kiswahili. I'm telling you, and do what you must. That being youth is not. What you do must be for the benefit of those who are going to succeed you. Bless you and have a good evening.